Robert here with Fiddleback Forge. Another awesome Fiddleback Friday. You know what that means. The first Fiddleback Friday of September, we're kicking it off with these awesome knives right here. We've got a Solo and Bush Raptor. We've got Bone Handles making a comeback, a sweet pairing knife, EDC models. We got the Renegade Twins right there. Gonna show you a comparison between those. Got the Full Fingers, the Bush Fingers, Bush Hermits. That awesome knife back there is from Amy Warlander Enterprises. That's her Grizzly model. Gonna show you that up close. Joey Berry killing it with that fillet knife and his bone handle Paloma. Got 16 total fiddlebacks and three fiddleback family for a total of 19 for this Friday. And I'm gonna show you what all those look like in hand coming up. Okay, I'm gonna show you what these knives look like in hand. But first, you have to know where to go and when to go to buy them. So you gotta to go to fiddlebackforge.com. You'll wanna hit the shop tab, go to Fiddleback Friday, that's where they all post every single Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Not before, not after. Make sure you are there a little bit early, ready to refresh your screen, or you may miss out on the knife that you have your eye on. They do go fast, and we do have several knives that always move very, very quickly within the first one to two minutes of posting. So you've been warned. Have your information ready and be there early. Now, if you wanna skip ahead, I know this video gets a little long going in depth with each knife. If you wanna go ahead and skip ahead, go to these timestamps right here for the knife that you're looking for and save yourself some time. But let's get started with the in hand, here we go. All right, so we're gonna start small and work our way up in size. This little guy right here is a great little EDC model called the Pygmy. And it's the smallest in the family of the Chief and Shaman lineup. This one in particular has red and black Ducarta. So that red is red in the same way that like a wine can be considered a red wine. So it's a little bit more of like a burgundy in color, as you can see. Uh, and Ducarta is a micarta. Uh, you can see the black liners there are a little bit thinner than most of the liners we typically use. So thin black liners, those white pinstripes, uh, skeletonized full tang. And I can tell you that this Ducarta is grippy. It's a little more grippy to my feel uh, than a regular micarta is, just so you're aware of that. Uh, really great little EDC knife right there. That is the Pygmy. And she's gonna go real far over there. All right, so next up, make sure you don't go Ninja. Nobody don't need Ninja. This is the Pocket Ninja, as you can tell there. Mocha Paper Micarta. Really cool micarta that looks a lot like a wood grain. Really cool stuff. So this one obviously is commando, no liners, no pin stripes. Uh, as you can see, it's got the natural micarta on the pins and the bullseye there. Really cool little EDC knife. Simple, no frills, nice little size, not too threatening if you're using it at work or whatnot. Only has a two and a half inch blade on there, five and a half inches overall. But as you can tell, three finger design, your pinky will tuck in real nice right there to make it nice and comfortable for using. And a great little pocket knife right there for a pocket sheath, of course. Don't stick this thing direct in your pocket unless you want a hospital visit. And of course, you can't do small EDC knives without a runt. So you saw a few of these last week. But you didn't see this one with the P, B, and J burlap. I love that stuff. It's got an awesome three-dimensional texture to it. Just a really cool look. Those natural liners with the white pinstripes really set this thing off. The Runt was one of my first small Fiddleback Forge knives personally. I've always really loved the way that it feels in hand and the design of it. There's a reason we made a mid-tech line that uh, copied this design. It's just an absolutely great little EDC knife right there. So that might become your favorite daily carry right there. So if you live in a place where it's also got restrictions on blade size, uh, just know that this one's only a two inch blade, five and a half inches overall, yeah, eighth inch A2. A2, you can tell by the spalting there. Skeletonized full tang as you saw. And that is the runt in P, B, and J. Peanut butter jelly time. All right, so next up is a paring knife. Now this knife was initially meant to be a really great kitchen model for doing pairing activities, obviously, but it turns out that this little bad boy is a fantastic everyday carry too. So you get the best of both worlds, whether you're carving an apple or carving up a feather stick, you're gonna like the way the handle feels on this, especially because you get really great indexing 
and it's very open. So if you've got small hands, large hands, it's going to feel like it fits you very, very well. And you always know where that blade is at all times, which is, of course, uh, really important when you're dealing with anything kitchen related and task as it is in the outdoors as well. So we got a black liners, yellow pinstripes on that. And you're also going to notice how razor thin this thing is. So this is 16th inch. 8670 steel, skeletonized full tang because why on earth would you need to taper that bad boy? Two and five eighths inch on the blade, six and three eighths inch overall. Really cool knife if you're looking for kind of an all purpose, but uh, you do a lot of kitchen work or like to carve those steaks and apples up, that's gonna be the one to get right there. All right, so it's time we move up in size to the larger EDCs and it's time we move on up into sexy town. We're going to get both right here with this Warthog model. So very close in size to the Hiking Buddy, which you guys know I love. But let's go ahead and talk about why you're here. That Strawberry Vanilla Swirl Bone. It is Camel Bone. And it is finished absolutely gorgeous. Lent sold separately. Don't worry. We might include some for free in the box. Black liners. Red pinstripes that you could barely even tell are there because of the red that's in that handle material and those scales already. Fantastic knife. Eighth inch, 8670, as you can tell from that hammer texture, that upswept tip, the handle shape. This thing is just all on sexy, and it's super comfortable in hand as well. So if you like precision tips on your, on your knives, especially your EDC knives, look no further. Three and a quarter inch blade, seven and three eighths inch overall. That is the Warthog all the way up in sexy town. All right, so I mentioned the hiking buddy and that last one. And here's a fantastic example of one right here. Caramel swirl on the bone, in case you couldn't get enough of that camel bone. It's got the natural liners, those blue pin stripes are really, really set off with those blue pins back here on the back. Got a Trinity pin out. Really awesome handle combo. Can't ask for much more right there. So 8670 on the steel, as you can tell right there from that hammer texture. Really awesome stuff. 330 seconds on the thickness. And that is the Hiking Buddy, which you know is one of my favorite everyday carry knives. If you like your EDC a little bit on the larger side, but by larger side, I don't mean it's massive by any stretch of the imagination because it's only three and quarter inches on the blade, seven and a quarter inches overall fantastic knife part of me really hopes you guys don't actually pick that one up because i would love to have to keep it since we're talking about hiking buddies let's go ahead and talk about this bad boy because as you can see by that handle very reminiscent of a hiking buddy but this is a bush raptor one that we don't make very often but you've seen a few lately uh, you can tell by the warncliffe style blade that downturn tip there uh, really cool this one's really awesome that fire dog micarta Commando, rolling commando, no liners, no pinstripes, nice thin handle. If you like a thinner handle on a knife, especially one kind of precision oriented like this, you're going to find that pretty useful. Uh, eighth inch A2, as you can tell by the spalting right there. Skeletonized full tang, because she's already thin enough. She does not need a taper. Three and a half inches on the blade, so about a quarter inch longer on the blade than the hiking buddy, uh, but it's mainly that, that downswept tip that really gives you that extra seven and three quarters inch overall so about a half inch longer than the hiking buddy as well um, that's going to make that handle a tad bit longer than the hiking buddy but the overall shape and feel are very reminiscent so if you're comfortable with the hiking buddy you'll definitely be comfortable with the bush raptor as well and continuing on that size range right here with a loner so this is the middle child of the bush hermit family uh, we do have a smaller version called the Solo, but in my opinion, this is perfect. But that's also because my opinion is the Hiking Buddy is the perfect size, and this is very, very close. So this is three and three eighths on the blade, seven and a quarter inch overall. So overall length right there with the Hiking Buddy, although the handle shape is quite a bit different. This is more open, uh, which I also find to be very, very comfortable, very confidence inspiring because you always know where it's indexing. Uh, but I think this one works better for a larger variety of hand sizes, if I'm honest about it. Uh, this one in particular has got that maroon micarta. You're going to see quite a few knives on this round three, to be exact, I think, uh, that have that. It's absolutely gorgeous. Hopefully that color is coming through for you. 
natural liners, the white pinstripes wrapping the entire pommel, skeletonized tang on that, everything just really came together on this. The orange lager on the bolsters, so it's lager G10 uh, with that bright orange liner and pins on there really make that color pop even more. You can tell this is A2 by that spalting, 330 seconds to be exact, so it's pretty slicey. And again, around the same size as the Hiking Buddy. Um, absolutely really cool model, and that one is gorgeous. So that one's not going to stick around very long, I can tell you that. Okay, so if we got a little too fancy on that last knife, let's go ahead and bring it back to simple right here. It doesn't get any better than this. If you want a hardworking, do everything, fiddleback forge knife with a handle configuration, you are not going to feel bad about carrying every day and getting a little rough with. Here we go. Natural canvas micarta, black liners, white pinstripes, that 330 seconds A2, as you can tell by the spalting there. A little bit of a taper on that tang that's really beautifully done. Three and three eighths inch on that blade, seven and five eighths inch overall. So it's not only more open handle design, but a little bit longer than that standard hiking buddy uh, or hiking buddy that's kind of the size standard in this range. You get a little bit more knife on this one, but still works really great in a pocket sheath if that's what you're looking for, but also great size for a belt sheath as well. So put her right back there. Let's keep going. All right, so next knife is actually two knives. Wanted to make sure that you guys got the comparison on these twin beauties right here. So the one that you're looking at on the top right here is the Renegade, the original Renegade. And if you look right here on the tip, you can tell by the one on the bottom that it has a drop point. So it's called the Drop Point Renegade because we're very original with names here at Fiddleback Forge. But that is the Renegade twin ship right there. Now let me show you what these knives look like individually now that you know how they compare. All right, so the original of the twin brothers right here is the Renegade. And as you see in this one, oh man, that orange curly ash is amazing color really pops. It's got a lot of chatoyance in it. It really isn't even coming through in the video. I promise you it's even better in person. Taper tang on there, eighth inch A2. All right, enough of that. All right, orange lager G10 bolsters. Maybe not enough of that. Mm, 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 mm. So super well done, but let's talk about the design is where I was originally headed. The original on the Renegade has that upswept tip. It's gonna be really good for skinning task uh, that you can really get in there and get the hide off. And this particular one, the Drop Point Renegade and the Renegade both have this amazing handle, which I absolutely love. It's one of my favorite handle shapes in the whole Fiddleback Forge category. And it's, it's just super comfortable. It indexes really well, no matter where you're holding it. You absolutely know every bit where that knife is at all times. Really, really awesome. So this is the Renegade. And of course, the next one is based on that model. And it is the Drop Point Renegade. So you can see that we took the upswept tip off there, made it into a drop point, hence the name, Drop Point Renegade. And this one in particular has eighth inch A2, as you can tell by the spalting there on the top of the flats. Also Orange Lager G10, but this one, instead of the natural liners uh, that the Renegade had, this one's got black liners. So black in between there as well, orange pinstripes, wrapping the entire bolster and the pommel and that orange curly ash. This is not even showing. You get a single light source like outside in the sun and that thing absolutely dances when you move it around. It's amazing. So both knives have a four inch blade, uh, about eight and a quarter inch overall. Just a fantastic size, really great belt carry knife. You can pop this into a uh, one of the larger pocket sheaths if you are a, a guy with big pockets, like I am, I would totally rock that in a pocket sheath all day. Really cool models, really good matching set. And continuing with the gorgeous color combinations is this one right here. This is the full finger. So the name uh, comes from the blade shape being very reminiscent of a bush finger, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, but the handle is definitely not. So. 
This is where it comes into the full part of the full finger because it is a very full figured handle. So once you get the thing indexed, no matter if you have small hands, large hands, it's going to fit. It's a very open design, which makes it very confidence inspiring, able to be put a lot of pressure without hot spots on this. We can work all day with this knife, no problem at all. It's a fantastic bushcraft knife if you prefer this kind of blade shape with the nice belly on there. So as far as handle materials go, the cross cut canvas micarta, which you know that we love because we've done quite a few with that particular handle material and you can see why it's awesome. It's got a ton of character on it. You can see that Trinity pin out just barely because it's natural on the pins as well. So it blends right in natural liner right there in between those red pinstripes that, that absolutely wrap the pommel and the bolster which that bolster is that maroon micarta that I showed you a little bit earlier. Absolutely gorgeous stuff. You can actually see the color pop out a little bit different against those red pinstripes. Really interesting how it does that. 530 seconds, so nice and thick blade on that, ready to take some abuse and use. 8670 steel, super duper tough on that as well, as you know. And it's taper tang is done fantastically. So that puts your balance point on this particular knife right there in front of that back set of pins right there. Absolutely awesome as far as size goes. Three and five eighths inch, eight and a quarter inch overall. Absolutely awesome. That is the full finger. So let me show you the bush finger. All right, so the full finger, obviously the name is based around the bush finger, although it is not really based on the model, although the blade shape is similar. It is a little bit different, whereas the bush finger has a little bit more drop toward the tip. Um, and the handle shape is totally different, as you can see. Uh, a lot less full on this bush finger. A lot more svelte. This is actually one of the original designs that Andy has done. Um, although it has gone through a couple of slight changes and iterations over the years to kind of perfect it um, into a model that's super popular, as you know. Banana Cream G10 is awesome. As you can see, you got the Trinity pen out, black liners, those white pinstripes really help to bring the color out. Absolutely a gorgeous knife. You can tell there by the hammer texture, this is 8670 on the steel, 530 seconds on the thickness, taper tang, looking gorgeous. Balance point on that knife just in front of those back set of pins right there. Keeps this really light feeling in hand, even for a thicker steel. Having that balance point right there where you index it at really keeps it light on its feet uh, for a heavy knife doing some heavy work. So that is the bush finger. And if banana cream is not your style or synthetic handle materials is not your style, wait, there's one more. And here is your natural choice. This is the bush finger with cherry punch curly ash and i can tell you that the video right here does no justice whatsoever to the color and the chatoyance because of the lighting that we use it's absolutely amazing and you can see there by that hammer texture 8670 is the steel really nice taper tang black liners those kicking red pinstripes to go with that handle material got the trinity pen out right there as well and of course the bush finger that classic Bush finger feel, very, very comfortable in hand. Awesome blade, as you can see there. Four inch blade, eight and a half inches overall, and a perfect companion to the other bush finger, that banana cream right there. So here's a, another fantastic model that you don't see very often, and this one is a thick bad boy with that 530 seconds 8670 on the steel. This is the Reaper. Ivory G10, Trinity pin out, black liners, orange pinstripes. Absolutely very cool. Very, very cool model. You can tell it gets its name from that shape right there that is reminiscent of the Reaper's, the Grim Reaper's sickle. Very cool hammer texture on that as well. Really awesome knife. That one is going to make somebody very, very happy. All right, so I showed you the loner earlier. So the big brother to the loner is the Bush Hermit. And this is the bad boy itself right here. 
So this is the culmination of everything Andy has learned over the years making bushcraft knives. One of his favorite by far. Uh, the open handle design is very much reminiscent of his more current designs. Indexing is awesome. It's got a really full feeling handle. Uh, so less hot spots as you're working. You can definitely get a lot of leverage on it. And the handle combo is awesome on this. So this has got the strawberry PB and J burlap on there with that maroon micarta on the bolsters, which is awesome. The white pins, the white pin stripes lining everything. There's black liners in between everything. Trinity pin out, this thing's absolutely decked out. So as you can tell by the hammer texture right there, 8670 is the steel and 530 seconds, that really sweet taper. Absolutely gorgeous. Bush Hermits always sell very, very quickly. And this one is going to evaporate with that handle combination because it's absolutely awesome. Four inch blade, eight and three quarters inch overall. That is the amazing Bush Hermit. And that wraps up the Fiddleback Forge knives, but we still got three Fiddleback Family knives to show you as well. And the first up for Fiddleback Family is Mr. Joey Berry, JB Knife Works, with his Paloma model, which is a really cool little EDC. About a three finger design, pinky tucks in real nice behind it. Very, very cool little EDC knife right here. Uh, on the steel, we got CPM 154, and I believe it's the only CPM 154 knife we have today, which is really awesome. Now, Joey's not super, super excited about naming his handle material, so he just called this the cream bone, but you're going to recognize it as the caramel swirl that we had earlier. And since Joey makes the bone handle knives, he can call it whatever he wants. Natural liners, orange pinstripes on that bad boy, that taper tang is absolutely sick. Joey's really showing off with that one. Going to make somebody super happy to add that to their EDC collection. That is the JB Knife Works Paloma. And we'll set her right there. All right, so that's not the only knife from Mr. Joey with JB Knife Works. We also have this awesome fillet knife. And you got to understand about Joey, he's an avid fisherman. So he built the knife he wanted to see five and one eighth inch on the blade, nine and a half inches overall with a super secure handle that you're never going to lose your grip when this thing starts doing the wet work on your fishing trip. 764 AEBL is the steel. So it's got a stainless variant to it and it does have flex to it. I got a full board right here. I would actually show you the flex on the knife itself, uh, but there you go. Burnt orange micarta black liners, white pen stripes, sexy mosaic pen right there. That is a fisherman's dream on that knife right there. Now watch me do a magic trick and have it balance right there. Bam. Last but definitely not least is Amy's knife for this week. Amy with Warliner Enterprises absolutely kills it in the design department and she kills it on the fit and finish as well as you can see. So any knife maker that I've ever seen pick up one of Amy's knives always comments about how amazing her designs are. So that's really, really saying something given the deep talent pool of knife makers that are here in Georgia. Absolutely awesome. This model is the Grizzly. And as you can see, it's got two thumb ramps on it, which I normally wouldn't say would work. It, this works so well, it's absolutely amazing. So you're first there, if you got this particular grip or if you're trying to choke up on it, to get a little more downward pressure on there. Either one of these grips is totally comfortable, feels totally natural. And that second thumb ramp also works really, really well if you're trying to get precision on a cut. So it just fits so perfectly, so comfortably in the palm, really locks in uh, with that downturn of the pommel back here. It's just an amazing design. If you had it in hand, you would absolutely love it. Four and a half inches on the blade, nine and a quarter inch overall, five thirty seconds. CRV2 on the steel. So having that black Camus micarta, that patina is gonna to start to develop on that blade. This thing is gonna get more amazing over time. Black liners right there, red pen stripes, skeletonized full tang. She's got a saber grind on there with that really super sexy swedge, which is not only sexy, it helps reduce drag on your cuts as well. That is Amy's. And as usual with Amy's knife, 
she is also a fantastic leather bender as well. So she makes all of her own sheaths to go with her knives as she intended them to be used. And uh, as you can see, you won't be disappointed with that either. She's got amazing quality of craftsmanship in everything she puts her hands on. So that is Amy's knife for this week, Warlander Enterprises Grizzly. And that's your Fiddleback Friday. So remember, until next week, life's too short to carry an ugly knife. So get you a Warlander, one of those JB Knife Works, or one of these awesome Fiddleback Forges with those handle combos that are out of this world. See you guys next week.